What's up, folks? All right, we're gonna do an unboxing. I haven't done an unboxing in forever. Um, I'm excited for this one. So you folks seen me um, come up with a logo for the fly fishing bushwhacker. Um, the feedback from everybody was really good on it. Thank you very much for everyone uh, that gave me some advice on the logo uh, or their opinion. I really appreciate that. I was. Yeah, I was really blown back, blown away, sorry, by the, uh, the amount of support that I got. So I did push forward, and we have an order here from Vistaprint. Don't worry, these are old scissors. I'll use these for fly tying anymore. So what do we have? Packaging. We got a box. We got a sheet. We got an invoice. Thank you for yours. Thank you for the box. I reused these boxes and sent them a file. What do we got? Thank you for your order. Hey, nice job on your order. Now let's do the same for your social media. What do they want to do? I don't know. Oh, cool. $20 off my next order. Thanks, Fist of Print. All right, box number one. Where is it? Oh, this is... oh we messed it up. Oh, All right, moment of truth, folks. We'll pick one and see what they look like. Well, that's not what I ordered. How do they look? Wow. What? Look at this, this is cool. All right, so here's uh, my new business cards. I'm more than just a guy sleeping in the back of his car on the side of the river eating alpha gettys. I'm now a guy sleeping in the back of his car, eating Alpha Gettys with a business card. That's me! <laughs> so here's the back side of it. And uh, front side of it. Just something that I wanted to be able to give to people so they'd have my contact information. Um, and I obviously, I want to send out business cards for the, uh, the fly tying, so... Really cool. But, uh, let me know what uh, y'all folks think. All right, on to box number two. Let's see how this rips off. See, so that one ripped off the way it's supposed to. Oh, they're tiny. I thought they were going to be bigger. Oh, well. I knew what I ordered, actually. I realized the next day. So, we got some stickers. They're small, but... Um, don't need crazy obscure big ones yet. I'm not sure. I want to try to play around with my sticker company before I make some good, good big stickers. But uh, just some stuff for packaging um, and some small little promotional stickers. So I'll cut these up, and every time that they send out an order of flies, um, I'll send along a business card and a sticker or two. People can toss those on their fly boxes. You know, probably not good for the back of the cars, but these ones are a little smaller. Um, yeah, little logo. Remember that logo, folks. <laughs> All right, there we have it. The first official promotional order. The first order I've sent um, on marketing material. That's the first amount of money 
that uh, the fly fishing bushwhacker is officially seen out of me. That's the first. This is the first small investment, folks. Um, yeah. Yeah. Not really much else going on. Uh, I should uh, probably show you guys the uh, fly tying bench real quick. We're in uh, full on process mode here. We're about to get into some heavy production. Um, so basically, y'all folks know I work from home. So check this out. Work computer. Personal computer. Other production bench. So I am able to cram it flies out um, in between work and after work, sometimes possibly during work. <laughs> um, yeah, I try to keep my desk super clean, super neat and tidy, um, probably due to my wife and her OCD tendencies. Um, just because sometimes I am traveling, oh, dogs are working, to keep my uh, spare threads in there. Um, I usually run about three of these little bins. Oh, he's up there. Usually run about three of these bins when I'm working on an order. Um, just kind of keep everything separate so I can keep everything organized and tracked. Um, I'm trying to be very, very efficient this year with my materials. Um, I placed an order of about eight calf tails and I really am right now, I'm working on an order of about a hundred bombers, um, just to stock up inventory, just basic colors, brown, and green bombers, uh, size four and six. Um, I'm just trying to really maximize my material this year. Um, that's why I'm staying organized. There's the hooks. Um, this calf tail right here, I'm really trying to pick the best sections of the body to use for size sixes. Um, leave the longer stuff for the size fours. And just really kind of dial in and, and hone in. Um, what I'm using for material and how I'm using all of the material, making sure I can use the most of the material that I'm paying for when I'm making these orders. Um, because fly tying stuff is getting expensive this year. Uh, down here, I got a little personal box on the go. Ferrero Rocher. I just got some bugs in there. Good little fly organizer. Cool. And then uh, in here, um, this is the first box. Um, stock them up. There's number six browns. You know, those are number four is number six and some randoms um keeping that there again just keeping inventory of what i'm tying um love to stay organized and then i'm going to show you guys my fly tying cabinet check that nice slink of a salmon out caught that guy at uh, coryville a few years back all right so here we go the cream de la creme um fly tying stays organized Calf tails are in there. Um, good saddles are in there. Spare hackle saddles. Hooks are all organized in there. A um, bunch of my bug hackles up there. Um, some other various bear hair. Some other nice feathers in there. Um, I think that's mainly uh, bucktails, spare tools. Cabinet number one. And cabinet number two is empty, really, because uh, I've been able to pretty efficiently dial in what I'm using for the style of flies I'm tying right now, which specifically I'm set up for bombers and bugs um, and a couple wet flies. And then over here is spare storage for all the extra stuff, red and threads, I don't know, hooks, galore. This is the sticker drawer. <laughs> Just a lot of extra stuff. This is all the um, dyed bucktail that I've got to work with. Um, and then, where? Oh, check out that sick camp chair that I got. 30 bucks on Amazon. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> all right, um, down here is where I keep all my bucktail. Or not my bucktail, all my deer hair. So we got the browns. We've got the chartreuse, we've got the machine green, we've got the red, we've got the orange, we've got the white, we've got all the blues, and then we got the black bin. So, keep all this stuff under the desk, 
ready to go so I can kind of just grab everything as I need it um, when I'm tying and at my station. So I've really tried to hone in things and uh, keep things a lot more organized this year and just be really effective and use all the material to its fullest. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I gotta get signed into work here in a couple minutes. It's almost three o'clock. Um, last thing here, I made this just for my tools. I mean, everybody's got their own little thing that they like to use. It's basically just a beaver chewed log that I found floating around in the pool one day. Grabbed it and anyways, I ended up coming home. I was gonna use it as a door stopper or something like that, but works good. And then we've got a, uh, this is a shell, the Sea Whiz, that Gatling minigun thing that you see on ships. It's like a surface to air defense system. Maybe I said that right. I don't know. But it's the thing that goes, and then it shoots off like a thousand rounds in a minute or like a second or something like that. I don't know. And it shoots down rockets coming into ships. That's one of the bullets that comes out. That's when I keep my toothpicks in. And then look at me, I'm old school. That's the uh, glue that I use. Veneers, celerine, fine. It's very thin, and I toss all my glue on with toothpicks. I need to probably speed up that process, but I love that glue. Uh, two coats, possibly three, builds a really nice head, and that stuff is bomb proof. It holds up awesome for an entire year of, 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 of fishing the same fly um, it's great in salt water great in fresh water that's the number one glue for me to use and uh, yeah thank you very much for tuning in for a quick little tour and uh, unboxing fly fishing bushwhacker is active we're here. Sorry for the lack of episodes. It's just been crunch time between work and tying flies. But uh, we're on the go. We're planning. Uh, I got to get out sometime for some sort of adventure. So I keep promising it. But anyways, thank you very much for tuning in, folks. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, smash that thumbs up button. Tell your mom. Tell your friends. Tell your dad. Tell your hippopotamuses, cats. What, what, what do you say? I don't know. Anyways, folks, we will catch you next time. Thank you very much for watching. All right, I'll see ya.